Welcome Pisces to my channel. I am Marina Wells and I'm here to do your June love reading. I'm just going to jump right into it. So if you are new, welcome. You know the drill. Take a look down below. You want to know more about me, my returning subscribers. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support with all the dramatics that go on over here, guys. You're going to want to hit subscribe. So let's get to it. What is going on with Pisces? In June, please, Spirit. Can we get some energies? Headspace, heart space, intentions, and outcome. I've already pretty shuffled this deck to death. So we're just waiting. P uh, Pisces, it looks like you don't want to talk. It's kind of like you pulled back really into yourself, okay? I feel with the amount of time that that took for something to show up is you don't, you don't, you or your person, you got to take it as resonates. Remember, guys, these readings, I should have done a little house cleaning at the beginning. Um, and these readings are general, so take it as it resonates. It could be you or your person, okay? So, um, yeah, you're just not waiting anymore for something. And you've completely pulled your energy back. Wow, because that took a long time to come out. And, because uh, hmm. you're just, I, I feel that... In regards to love, you're just not focused on it at this time. Let's see. What else? What's in your headspace? Your heart space is six of wands. You've overcome something. Um, maybe you haven't been able to detach or end a certain cycle is what I'm getting, Pisces. But what's happened is you've actually been able to. You didn't think you could. It looks like a, a twin flame aspect with these cobra snakes. Look at that. It's like the DNA. Or you've healed some really ancient um karma that has been ancestral karma that's coming through okay and because of that it's activated an awakening here an enlightenment has happened and and it's caused you to really put a stop to a certain karmic cycle you've become victorious and you feel it in your heart you know you've hit a new vibration pisces this June, you are going, even if you're not feeling it right now, you definitely are, definitely, is this recording? Okay, yeah, it is. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Like, is that recording? Oh, my God. Um, it's like, no, this is such a good reading. So let's see your intentions here, Pisces. Let's see your intentions here for June. Okay, we've got the last two out. Definitely. You are definitely starting on a new beginning with the fool. You're being guided either by dog spirit or wolf spirit here. Okay. Because you're going through all of this transformation. You are humbled. You're coming down these steps here and really looking at um, those last few obstacles, those little things that you're cleaning up, you know, just kind of organizing to take this leap of faith. And you've been guided here by your spirit animals, okay? We're gonna pull a spirit animal for you today. It'll be interesting to see if it's a dog or a wolf or something. Um, but lots of butterflies here, lots of transformation. You're ready to take action in the beginning and here you go, start a new cycle, end an old cycle, the universe, okay? Spirit has been really calling you and you've really put an end to a huge cycle. We've got six of pentacles in the reverse, which makes sense because you're not giving to a situation anymore like you're not like it's done you're not waiting you're not nothing your headspace is like there's no mental energy that is feeding old patterns into your heart space you've overwon that okay you had to get very um precise about what you were allowing into your intuition through your heart and through the mind Okay, there were so many energies that were going on. It took you a while, Pisces, I'm feeling, to sort yourself out here. We have Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So, you're not, yeah, you're not waiting anymore. You're just, you're simply just not waiting anymore. The fool is here. You're taking that leap of faith and you've put an end to a cycle. So, if this is a journey that you have completed with a person or leveling up in your vibration, Pisces, you're really coming into a place of, uh, knowing deeper who you are here okay let just get that one it's the nine of cups in reverse so i'm seeing your place you're just not you're not taking scraps anymore you're not taking things that took you for granted you're not over giving you're not uh you know you're just not focused and you've done this in the past you know maybe you overgave in a situation or you were people pleasing type of energy you're just done with that you want 
what is rightfully yours. And if that means that you have to leave certain things behind that you've overcome in your heart, it's almost like you've hit a victory place in your energy this month, okay? So let's take a look at the bottom. We have six of cups in reverse. So we got two sixes. So this is definitely about love. Sixes are the lovers and the, and um, the yeah, the lovers. Love means about love and partnership. So you're not giving to a certain situation. You've closed the door to your past Pisces. You've closed the door to the past. You don't want to miss opportunities in life. Maybe staying stuck in a situation, maybe energetically being stuck on a person or whatever this old cycle was that hurt your heart made you feel that you missed out on certain things or that you may miss out on this new vibration that's come in. And you don't want to miss out on this vibration that's coming in. Like you're feeling it. You're like, now. So take that leap of faith when it comes. You're, you're going to know. So Spirit is really pushing Pisces to like, don't be scared. That cycle is done. What you are feeling, this is a validation for Pisces. What you are feeling is true. It is clearing. You have healed ancestral karma. You have healed something really deep. This new beginning is here. The truth is about to be revealed to you, Pisces. Okay, we have the page of swords. Now you're look, learning how to discover yourself in a new way. Your your this is your soul, um, Akashic, your blueprint. Something very high is coming in for you, Pisces. Let me just take a sip of water. <clears throat> so let's take a look. So Pisces is is left the old uh, vibration here. Third, three of uh, Pentacles in reverse. It could have been a contract that ended here, Pisces. Um, that you just couldn't work with this person. You couldn't collaborate. You couldn't talk to them. It's like nothing. It's like you were ghosted. You were left out in the cold. You just didn't, you couldn't, um, yeah, you just couldn't handle that anymore. So you became very clear within yourself, Pisces. And what you looked at why you couldn't walk away from this person and you healed something in your heart. You became victorious in your heart and you are now very careful of who you're allowing in. You're being very secretive, Pisces. It's like, it's either your person or you, but you can't, no one's finding you in the energy. It's like you, poop <laughs> fell off, fell off the map, so to speak, you know. Um, yeah, very interesting. So now that you are feeling this coming in, we one flipped here. Um, you're coming out of that four cups energy, Pisces. You're accepting that cup from spirit. You know it's coming. You're going to take it. Nothing's going to stop you. Um, we have the two of pentacles in reverse, the seven of swords, the star, and the wheel of fortune in reverse. You may have been in a time, Pisces, that was very, you know, manipulative, dark, or you couldn't see the truth. You things were hidden from you. You didn't know what was going on and just things weren't going in your favor. It's like you would almost ask for something and nothing. It would like be a mismanifestation or it just wouldn't turn out right. Or there was always a repetitive karmic cycle that happened that it had to happen that way, Pisces, so you could understand this new vibration that you were really done with the old energies. And I'm seeing her Pisces, you've healed it now. Your destiny is coming in here. Okay, the wheel is about to turn for you. Um, you, you. You don't have to juggle too many things now. Spirit just wants you to relax. It's yours, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, we have the Five of Wands and the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Wands. I don't know, Spirit just told me to take those. I'm seeing here, Pisces, that you just need to stop fighting um, yourself of where you haven't been able to walk away and what's caused you pain. You're actioning this right now, Pisces. I'm really seeing that. You're coming to a more gentle energy with yourself, but a passionate, fiery energy within yourself. Yeah, yeah. You've untrapped yourself here out of the illusion. So it's almost like, Pisces, I can see that you can see the pain showed you so deeply. It almost like that pain had to like cut you so deep so this is that karmic cycle. You knew that, you know, when you hit that painful place again, that that was your marker. That was your knowing. I can't go back there. That's the point where I don't walk away from shit. <laughs> this is what I'm hearing. 
and you just stop fighting that so you have this an awakened state now pisces of moving from you know seeing all sides to it and more is going to be revealed in june okay yeah the conflict is about to end pisces the five of swords in reverse the conflict is about to end okay so that's the ace yeah the the truth that was suppressed is about to become clear very quickly is what i'm seeing here You're coming out of the out, out of the hermit mode now. Exactly. The truth is about to come out. An offer is going to be coming towards you, Pisces. Okay. Uh, from an emperor on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Very passionately coming towards you. This could be a twin flame reading. Okay. It's just what I'm getting. And the ten of cups just falls out. <laughs> as I say that so I'm definitely feeling this is a twin flame energy queen of cups the emperor someone's opening up there's a new offer coming in that's because you've hit this new energy here Pisces okay let's take a look and get some uh love uh romance for you what is going on for Pisces in June please don't forget to also look at your north node, you guys. This one just kind of fell out, so we're going to take it. There is an attraction. Your romantic love, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So there's definitely something coming here, Pisces, with love, right? There may have been deception from this. This was this karmic cycle here that we're talking about. That maybe um, your spiritual beliefs were just being tested here. And there were a lot of lies that you had to work through and love here, Pisces. But you're, and that may have caused a separation with this twin flame, with this counterpart. And now somebody wants to give it a chance. And this could be the one here, Pisces, playful. It's going to be light, airy. There's going to maybe an effort. Maybe somebody needs, it, maybe somebody's going to get engaged here. All right. Um, maybe there is an offer coming. There is an offer coming in from a masculine. Some of y'all could be um an engagement ring a proposal it could be even out of the blue i'm hearing that it may be that you haven't talked for so long and then all of a sudden boom you're engaged is what i'm hearing let's see pisces and i feel it's something and you know something is here pisces you can feel a new vibration but you're just you're just see how she's looking at the sun like oh so nice like she's just basking in that light so she's not even fighting anything she's just being so we have here the seven star sisters birthing creations tapestry of life and expression you're coming into a very high place of self-expression this is the support system around you you're birthing you're an empress or emperor energy more empress energy birthing birthing your life is a canvas artist manifestation creative accountability and that's the channel that you're coming into that that energy of creation and being on mission and coming into a very high love vibration and i'm basking in that wow there's a lot a lot so yeah we're gonna we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves so i want to cut this a little i don't want to go but i mean it's so good you're reading <laughs> i'm basking in these energies myself but i I have a set time limit to do these. So, um, yeah. So, Spirit is saying, loosen your group here, Pisces. Coping mechanisms, den density, addiction, let God in. So, anything else that's calling, coming back into this deception, and when you feel that karmic energy, Spirit doesn't want you to hide. You're going to have to go into the world. So, I'm seeing that this de deep cellular healing, you've been healing with Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing whale and orca elders with ancestors here is what i'm feeling share your song frequency of sound diving deep that's definitely um what i'm seeing the energies of the angelic realm the elders the ancestors coming through here all supporting you with this letting go healing the dna lineage you came into letting go of that control here that you've had from being hurt that's why you've been hermiting but you're coming out of that star keeper cosmic ancestors see the light by staying grounded and i remember soul plan the faded life versus the destiny life you're definitely there is a some type of high level union coming soulmate connection coming through let's take it to twin flame oracle 
Oh, forgiveness. Forgiveness. There's a time of you and your person coming together for forgiveness. Forgive each other. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? It's a free will choice that so somebody has made a decision here, Pisces. Free will choice. They're saying, you know, concluding saying no to this muse, to, to this connection. They're saying no. They See, their free will was to say no to what they loved with the muse, but they're concluding that pretty much. That's exactly what's showing up. Okay, there's going to be a compromise that happens here to balance the scales. The vibration is very high. Okay, um, it's clearing the stuck energy for union. Okay, and I just pulled those two out together with a return Pisces, okay? Um, really beautiful, <laughs> really beautiful energies, Pisces. So there's definitely a high level connection for some that are coming together in June. Congratulations. Congratulations. That is amazing. Let's take a look here. What else for Pisces? This is one of my longer readings, but it had to be that way. So this is the energy that you're in, that you're moving from in May, from June into June is between worlds. You're moving into, yeah, because this is unfinished business. If you thought this was over with this person, it's not over. It's not. There's a lot of dreaming together, a lot of co-creative energies coming through, a lot of high vibration, be flexible with the energies coming in. Okay, this is to build. These energies are coming in to help you build and create to go the distance in life. Wow, this is feminine. I felt Empress energy. Everything that happened to you that of why it's gonna be revealed and your treasures are coming in. It's a loyal heart, someone loves you. They realized the the mask they were wearing, but you feel like home. You feel like home, Pisces. Okay, wow, whoo, wow. That was a whew, beautiful read, Pisces. Beautiful union energies here for Pisces. Let's see, what energies are coming through? We have a divine masculine message. What messages do we have? We have another divine masculine message. What other message? We have another Divine Masculine message and another one. Wow. Wow. I think you're the only sign that got all masculine energies, okay? So, wow, Pisces, your masculine is saying you are the only one who can unlock my heart. If I could turn back time, I know I would have done things differently. Please forgive my shortcomings. I am doing my I am doing my best to trust our love and not listen to outside influences. It's very challenging for me to stand in my truth. We both rejected each other on some level. Tough love is sometimes the only way we learn. Wow, Pisces. I'm gonna get you a spirit animal. Let's see, spirit, this is for Pisces. What spirit animal should they work with in June with these energies? Well, the hawk was on the bottom, but you can take that as it resonates. So I'm just going to, it's the whale. It's the whale. All right. We got two here and the shark. Wow. It's almost like these are the twins and one was maybe a bit of a shark and one was, you know, this whale and they're, they're meeting and realizing we need to come together. I don't know, but take those animals and research them and see how uh, definitely emotional, deep waters you dive into. But um, one is more, you know, protective and the other one is very much more a singer or, you know, the flow of life is the feminine energy, so. All right, my loves, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you thought of this reading and I'll see you soon. Bye.